Hello, today I'm going to talk about distributed sorting. First, we are going to discuss the odd even sort. Second, we are going to discuss shear sort, which is an extension of odd even sort. It is faster than the odd even sort. And the third part, we are going to discuss sorting network, which is even faster. Odd even sort is like a parallel bubble sort. I will do that using an example. So in the first round, we will look at all the odd position numbers. Five is greater than three, then we swapped its position. And this also swapped. And it's four, just leave it there. And then in the next iteration, we are going to look at the even position numbers. So again, in the next iteration, odd position numbers. And then we're done. So how are we going to prove the correctness of this sorting algorithm? We are going to use a lemma. The lemma is the following. If an obvious exchange algo sorts a bunch of 0 and 1s, then we also sort any arbitrary numbers. How we are going to prove this is by proving if it does not sort any numbers, it does not sort 0 and 1s. Now we are going to prove that odd even sort sorts 0 and 1s. First, we make some observations. So if you have a bunch of 0 and 1s, first iterations, you will see that this 1 will be switched to this position. So if we have a bunch of zeros here, then 1 will be swap, 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 until it goes to the end. So for any 1, it will be switched until it reaches the last position or it reaches a 1. And how about the runtime? The runtime, we are observing the following. The rightmost k1 for example here in this case this one is considered to be the third rightmost one will not block after k steps means that for example in this iteration it won't move to the right because it's comparing with the zero here and then in the next iteration after this zero and one swapped it compare itself with this zero it get moved to the right what does the block means is when you have a bunch of ones and then followed by zero, then this one will be blocked since all this is one. So you need to wait until this one move to the right. And then all of the ones on the right of it need to move to the right until this one can be moved to the right. So the case rightmost one will not move after k steps. So after all the ones on its right get moved to the right. And then it got moved to its right position. So for example, you have the case one here and then you have bunch of ones here. So you just need to move to, to this position. Seems you already have K here. So you just need to move M minus K steps. So in this case, K plus M minus K just N. So the runtime, it just N steps. In the next part, we are going to look at shear sort. It's an extension of odd even sort. So in odd even sort, we have a linear runtime. So we want to improve that. How we're going to improve that is to build this number into a grid. If we are going to have n num total numbers, then the length here will be square root of n. After that, we are going to do iterations. So first, for every row, we are going to use odd even sort. In this manner, the bigger number is on the right for this row, and then for its next row, the biggest number should be on the left. And then we continue. And after we sort all the rows, we sort every column. We sort every column by moving all the large number to the bottom and a smaller number on the, on the top. We're going to do that with an example. First, we sort all the rows and then follow by column. How are we going to prove the correctness of this algorithm? So first we denote all the rows that containing pure 1s or 0 as clean. And then the rows containing both 1s and 0s as dirty. We can make a following observation. We only consider these two rows here. So after swapping, it will be like this. So we can see the bottom line become clean. And we consider these two rows here. After we sort the column, it will be like here we have two clean rows. We're going to claim that after one phase, after we sort every row and every column, we are going to have the number of clean rows will be greater than half the number of total rows. From this, we can see that if we only consider two rows, if the number of ones is greater than the number of zeros, there is going to be a 
pin one row if the number one is less than the number of zero we are going to get queen zero row if the number of ones is equal to the number of zeros so in this case we got two queen rows so for every pairs of rows there will be at least one clean rows so we can conclude that number of clean rows is greater than half the number of total rows after every iteration the pictures will be like this so we have all the clean one here clean zero here and then dirty in between and then this dirty is less than half of the rows and then we can do recursion on the dirty rows again until we are only left with one dirty row or no dirty row at all since we are having all the number of rows at one time so we are going to need log n number of iterations and then in each iteration we'll redo row and then colon and then colon operation so in total we are going to need log n we are passing a one here because we round it up so altogether, the runtime is square root n times log n plus 1. In the third part, we are going to talk about sorting network. Sorting network consists of a bunch of wires. Each wire corresponds to a number. And then between each wires, we will have this thing called comparator. So this comparator will compare the number and then which level is larger, it will swap them. So in this case, it will swap 1 here and 0 here. And then this comparator compares 0 and 1. And in this case, since 0 is smaller, so 0 remains in this position. And after this network, we get a sorted list 0, 1, 1. We define the depth of this sorting network as the number of comparator in the wire so in this case it will be length 2 if I'm going to add more to it for example then we count the number of comparator in this wire it will be 4 so we count the maximum number of comparator on the wire we are also going to introduce a notion called bitonic Bitonic sequence is a sequence of number first increasing and then decreasing or first decreasing and then increasing. For example, this will be 010, this will be 101. Next, we are going to introduce what is called half cleanser. It will take in a sequence of bitonic numbers and output a sequence containing half of the numbers are clean and half of the numbers are still a bitonic sequence. So we consider an example. We divided this sequence into two parts so the first number here will be connected to the first number in the other part and then also for the second number and third number so this is our comparators so after this comparison we will see that zero zero remains the same and one zero got swapped and then one zero also got swapped so we ended with zero 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 one one so we can see this half part is a clean part and this is still a bitonic sequence so how are we going to use a half cleanser to sort a bitonic sequence that we can use half cleanser recursively on the other half that is still not clean we continue this process until we got a sorted sequence of numbers so we have something called a bitonic sequence sorter it will take in a sequence of bitonic number and make it sorted it will contain half cleanser like this so it will generate clean or bitonic in either part of this and then we use the half cleanser again to sort the number here and then we iterate through all the numbers until we get the final sorted sequence. So now we have the tool to sort a bitonic sequence. But how are we going to use it to sort our general arbitrary number sequence? We are going to use an idea similar to merge sort. Suppose we have two sequence of sorted list here. How does it relate to bitonic sequence? So we can see that if we flip all the numbers here, it becomes a bitonic sequence. So we can use the bitonic sequence sorter to sort this. By some observations, we can see that if you are going to use a half cleanser on a bitonic sequence, it is equivalent to use this kind of comparator on two sorted number of sequences. And this is called a merger. So this gives rise to an idea called a merging network. So a merging network will input two sorted lists and output one sorted list. So it is similar to the bitonic sequence sorter, 
Instead, it replaced the front hubs cleanser to a merger. And after that, you will get a sorted list. After we have merging network, we found that we can just use it to do merge sort. So each of the step, we use a merging network. So we can use merging network on each of the sequence here. And we do it recursively and we merge it into a larger and larger sequence. And finally, we got a big sequence containing all the number and it is sorted. And what's the runtime? So we know that in merge sort, we need log n steps here. And for each merging network, we also need log n because it containing log n halves of sorter. You found that the merging network here will also contain log n in depth so that in total we have log times log in runtime in total so in conclusion we have talked about three distributed sorting algorithm and first is the odd even sort it's just similar to a bubble sort so you switch position first for the odd position numbers and then the even position numbers and this will be done in a linear time and second we have shear sort so we position the number into a squared and we sort the row in this manner first and then we sort a column. And the important thing here is after one iteration, the number of clean rows will be more than half of the rows so that we can jump in a conclusion. It will take at most log n plus 1 rounds and in each rounds we do square root n times of operations so in total the runtime is this and third we talk about sorting network so in sorting network we have a bunch of wires and comparator we use the idea in merge sort so we need to find a way to merge two sorted lists and that is called a merge network a merge network consists of a merger and then we have all the half cleansers. And half cleanser can transform a bitonic sequence to a sequence containing half clean numbers and half the bitonic sequence. And then the merger is just a twist of the half cleanser. It will take in two sorted lists and output half clean, half bitonic sequence. So we use merger plus a bunch of half cleanser we can get a merge network that merging two sorted lists and then we apply the merge sort idea we will get the final sorted list and then the runtime in the sorting network is first of all we have log n half cleanser in each merging network and also we have in total log n merge network here so all together we have runtime log n square and don't forget we have a very powerful lemma is zero one sorting so when we are proving the correctness of our algorithm we only need to prove that it works for a sequence only containing zero and ones so that we know this algorithm will also be true for sorting all the numbers all arbitrary numbers so three important takeaways is first we have this lemma and second we can prove that the number of clean rows will be at least half of the rows and we learn a very interesting mechanism is called half cleanser you take in a bitonic sequence and output half clean half bitonic sequence